Right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, a uh, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website. Just one second to muffle the uh, sound of my PC. So uh, yeah, in the link in the link down below, you're going to see my website from which you can purchase a uh, personal reading with me as well. Um, I'm offering in six weeks live tarot classes uh, in which I'm going to teach you how to read with the major arcana only for starters um, and all of their aspects career relationship uh, negative not negative because tarot doesn't have negative or a positive it has a pleasant and unpleasant meaning okay so i literally when you end up the first beginning course uh hopefully you are going to be uh, set to do your own readings with major arcane only which also is going to the class includes a spread that is major arcana only friendly spread so that being set aside, moving to the spread straight away for the week. Now the first card for you, Sagittarius, which marks the topic of your week. That is to be the Page of Wands, followed by the next one that stands for the challenges, not the challenges, I'm sorry. Uh, that is to be the uh, energies that are feeding up the situation here. That is to be the Five of Cups. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome. And that is to be an individual here of the Knights of Wands. And then it is the blessing that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week. That will be the, the King of Cups. Followed by next one, which stands as the impression you are leaving into the people around. You know, what kind of a, uh, a standpoint or what kind of a person you are into the eyes of others. That is to be the Four of Wands. And the last one, which is the uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the um, Justice card. All right. So... Well, it looks like that this week is going to start in a bit of a rough way for you uh, with uh, the Five of Cups and with the Page of Wands. The Five of Cups, especially the energy. So you, you got to take it that way that the result is going to be rather good. However, it's going to be provoked by rather unpleasant circumstances. Why? Because those energies are going to remind you of a certain, you know, poignant experiences that you recently had. Uh, like disappointments, like failures, uh, like, uh, for example, unfulfilled promises and etc, etc. And uh, uh, the more you get reminded for those stuff here with the Five of Cups, the more you are going to start comprehending that you don't deserve that. Or rather like a, uh, that's uh, on top of it that you don't deserve that. Uh, the You do carry on certain guilt that these things happen to you. So in other words, you allow those things to happen to you. But also the comprehension will revolve around that this isn't the end of the world, really. And that uh, a life can be recuperated, even if it seems quite of a, um, a destructive disappointment, for example, if you're going through like a... Uh, uh, a painful breakup, loss, etc. Uh, but you have lost your job and so on and so forth. In any case, uh, these energies are going to, instead of making you feel like battered and like, you know, brought down into the mud and etc. Uh, those energies are going to make you more determined to just press even harder. So the, the, the harder the disappointment is, the harder you are to press forward and the more open you are going to be for the situation. And what the situation is, well, page of wands. And there is only one way to identify or to classify the situation in terms of this narrative. And that is the situation of where one is opened for everything new to come on its way. And uh, with the page of wands, many things, many enterprise and many endeavors and above everything else, many ideas as well are going to come up into your head. Ideas in the sense of how you want to live your life from now on. And those ideas could touch your career. They could touch as well your relationship. Uh, but the best thing about the page, it is that it is the reason why this all is happening. And the reason is that you are to be reminded of your personal strengths. That whatever disappointed you, you are stronger than that. Whatever caused you loss, you are stronger than that as well. And again, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of your life. And you can definitely keep on going and maintaining a rather 
good perspective for the future you know and, and kind of like an, an exhilarating state to a certain extent that the best is yet to come because with the page of wands uh, that is very true uh, but only if you are open like i said for everything new now the negative trait of the page of wands uh, is that these people or in this case you sagittarius will be a bit ignorant to listen uh, especially if uh, you do have people telling you what to do that will cause you to jump into rather aggravated states and you are to be really agitated that you do have those that are trying to you know push an opinion over you so uh, if that's the case with you you may kind of have some certain points of conflicts but they're not going to be that severe so what will be the challenge here for the week we do have an individual a person knights of wands and knights of wands these individuals they are very inconsistent especially in this position which is the um, the third position of the sprite while it is true that the knights of wands it's uh, kind of like it does possess the traits and the the criteria to push their things through to their very end uh, they do that they unfold that potential of consistency only if uh, they keep they 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 have interest in what they're doing. So the challenge for you is going to be maintaining this interest. And if you have to maintain this, the interest of somebody over your project, over your career, or over you, if we're talking about relationship, then is it really worth it? So you have to, you have to identify that for yourself. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not a clown. You're not a jester to maintain interest. If the person wants, to, if that person here, Knights of Wands, wants to be um, entertained, well, then then should then they should go to a circus, isn't it? So uh, it does depend what kind of a standpoint. Once again, you're gonna have according to the Knights of uh, Knights of Wands. Uh, and uh, if it touches relationships, it will be a bit of a more difficult, dif more difficult challenge than in career. If that's a person who you want to make a business with, but they doesn't look very consistent. And it's like, you know, one day they say something, the other day they back off it because they find they have found another interest. In relationship, it will be a bit more tougher because they are usually handsome people. You know, they do have that magnetism, if you will. And um, the the world the word here is enthralled. I mean, probably they have enthralled you, enthralled you, and now it's it's difficult for you to just detach. But that is a challenge, and the challenge can be overcome, over overcame. So um, next one that we do have is going to be the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy. We do have the King of Cups. King of Cups. That's another individual. So. For one or another way, it does look like the chill week, is, it will be a bit cramped with people. But in any case, King of Cups, it has a very different traits from the Knight of Wands. Now, King of Cups, uh, first of all, they are capable to have a very deep emotion. Emotions very often misunderstood from people that they are very indifferent. For a reason being is that the King of Cups, it takes care for those emotions in the sense of that they do not allow anybody to hurt them, if you will. And as easy they can open, just as easy they can close. So I am saying that because this King, the gift from that King is going to be some sort of an offer or a helping hand that comes by that they show uh, as some sort of an emotion towards you. But if you uh, deny it, they are going to close just as good. And that baffles many people around, okay? Because they think, well, if you are emotionally connected with me, how can you detach so easily? And that is the trait of the King of Cups. You don't want his emotions? That's fine. You know, somebody else will simple as that but that that is their standpoint and this is the master of the emotions okay they can put them into one thing just as easily as into another and only those who value it and embrace their emotions are those who are going to have them as a gift or as a uh, you know yeah as a as a gift if we can say or the only those are to enjoy these emotions so the re so the question here is why the king really offers you something or offers you a helping hand well because they see the worth in you or the worth 
uh, under a worth i mean they see the potential that you can cherish value and eventually unfold uh, their emotions we can talk about love we can talk about you know certain success very successful business endeavor because the emotions does not constrain only over love they could be excitement and so on and so forth you know a business trio and these kind of stuff so it does depend where it manifests but the point with this card is that you are to be offered something there is totally no need aside from a or no reason i would say aside from pride to to turn it off so just embrace it or rather accept it with the uh, with an open heart our next one uh, that we do have for you uh, is going to be the four of wands which is the impression that you are leaving into the people around and people are to see you on a very important stage of your life that is that uh, you are just traversing something you know traversing like from one chapter into the other chapter because the Four of Wands, it is like finalizing an important cycle in life. But it is not like closing the book, but more like the chapter. And uh, it's like moving on the next stage, you know, something contiguous to the previous to the previous endeavor. If I'm going to get you on an example of it, it's like you have uh, created a solid plan and now people see you start manifesting that plan. And that is a, a very good impression that you are going to leave into the people around. It's simply that you are leaving the impression that you are ready for whatever, you know, whatever they are to offer you, you are ready for it. And also people are to see you uh, worthy for a uh, certain rewards that comes with the four of wands in a sense of that, you know, you have accomplished a thing and now you should enjoy it and celebrate the rewards that comes by with accomplishing that thing whatever the thing is about for you that is because it will be different thing for every single Sagittarius and the last one it is the um, guidance that uh, Taro is offering for you and we do have the justice here so don't get over cocky it's the guidance there are still a lot for you to do there are still a lot for you to manage and there are still what to be decided in your future yes you're gonna have the offer yes you're gonna have the helping hand but as we saw you gotta be open for everything new so you do still so much so you do have still so much to do into your career and into your relationship and the justice here urges you as a guidance is, is that you need to maintain your astute discernment it is kind of like the awareness to be able to differentiate the importance of things, the importance of your priorities. And so you can structure your priorities in a such a way that you have the time and the, uh, and the, the, uh, the means to attend to every single one of them without leaving none of them attended. Because usually what happens is people tend to jump into things that makes them, not makes them, but appears to be interesting and appears to be something that they want to do and throw everything they got into it and certain other responsibilities that are a bit more annoying they are left unattended but make no mistake it will bite you in the a if you do so so even if uh, annoying if it has to be done it has to be done and that's why you need to keep and maintain your astute discernment and make your decision what you are going to undertake a Tuesday and then a Wednesday is going to be a different thing and then Thursday is going to be a different thing um, needs to be accurate and needs to be objective and the other uh, and the guidance here it is to attend to the most immediate sense of emergencies here so that being said Sagittarius this was your weekly general tarot reading guys but above everything else at the end I want to conclude here it is that this week you gotta be open for everything new once again and whatever poignancy happened for you back in the days whatever disappointment whatever uh, loss you have experienced you need to know that these are just a temporary things okay okay they are not a permanent one so if someone um disappointed you in love that doesn't mean that you ain't gonna find love again okay you just need to keep on looking because the world offers you something new here throughout this week do not give up this is my appeal to you so that being said this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and as well 
I am offering in an online uh, live six weeks tarot classes in which uh, the beginners class that is is going to um, I will explain you there the major arcana and how to interpret them in a term of career relationship in a positive not positive but in a pleasant and an unpleasant way I don't know how to say it yeah so I will keep with the positive and the negative uh, in a negative way depending how they fall into the dedicated spread which is a uh, major arcana friendly and at the end of the at the end of the beginners course you are to be set to do your own readings even using only major arcana i guarantee you that the answer is not gonna be less accurate so yeah hopefully you're gonna stay safe now and uh, see you next time until then bye